monument to the memory of Hitler's deputy Rudolf Hess. The marble headstone had recently been erected on a hillside near Glasgow where Hess landed during a wartime mission to Britain. This report from our Scotland correspondent Stephen Jardine. Already daubed with paint, the mysterious memorial to Rudolf Hess. No one knows who's responsible for the monument, but already it's become a shrine for neo-Nazis from around the world. It's been built on the spot where Hitler's deputy landed during his wartime visit to Britain in 1941. Hess came to try to talk peace with the Duke of Hamilton, but 50 years on, the Duke's son says the event shouldn't be commemorated. The wording on the stone is very offensive because it implies that Hitler and the Nazi uh, leadership were involved in heroic acts. Anti-Nazi campaigners headed straight for the scene, taking the law into their own hands. They say the monument celebrated evil. As far as we're concerned, it's a memorial to a Nazi, a man who was responsible for deaths, you know, of Jewish people, of gay people, you know, of socialists, of trade unionists, millions of them. It's six years since Rudolf Hess died in a Berlin prison, but clearly his memory lingers on. Recently, there's been increased activity by far-right groups in the west of Scotland. Opponents say that means destruction like this is justified. Stephen Jardine, GMTV News. ...who allowed a memorial to be built on his land to Hitler's deputy, Rudolf Hess, says he will put up another after it was yesterday destroyed by anti-Nazi League protesters. It's believed a Yorkshireman paid for the memorial to be built to mark the spot where Hess landed after his secret flight from Germany in 1941. The memorial to Rudolf Hess, which so mysteriously appeared on a farm south of Glasgow, never had the chance to become a place of neo-Nazi pilgrimage, as some had feared. Yesterday, anti-Nazi League activists took the law into their own hands and made short work of the slate and marble structure. A strange postscript in the life of a man whose personal history was full of controversy. Rudolf Hess was one of Hitler's earliest and most devoted disciples. They went to prison together in the 1920s. And when Hitler took power in Germany in 1933, he made Hess his trusted deputy. Hess shared Hitler's dreams, playing his full part in building Nazi Germany. But in 1941, Hess did something extraordinary. With the war at its height, he flew to Britain in a Messerschmitt, landing in Scotland. There, the Third Reich's deputy Führer was arrested by a farm worker. His name is David McClay. He works on a farm not far from Glasgow. He saw Rudolf Hess coming down in the darkness by parachute. But let him tell you his own story. Yes, I'm the man that captured Rudolf Hess. He spent the rest of his life in jail. After the war at Nuremberg, he was sentenced to life imprisonment, which he served in Spandau Prison in Berlin, where he committed suicide six years ago, aged 93. Apologists for Hess see him as a misunderstood peacemaker. To some, he was a victim. But to the anti-Nazi League, the memorial was an intolerable provocation. The vast majority of people in Britain are against the Nazis, are against racism, are against what the BNP stand for and are certainly against what Rudolf Hess stands for, the death of six million Jews. And the destruction of the memorial is likely to be applauded by many others. Hess, just like the others who had been um, condemned at the uh, Nuremberg war, war trials, was a, a, a Nazi thug and a criminal. Permission for the memorial was reportedly given by the farmer in exchange for payment. It had no planning permission, and the local council says it would have had to be removed anyway. But Strathclyde police say they want to talk to those who destroyed it. Robin Aitken, BBC News.